everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. And this is the podcast where Aaron and I, we watch episodes of Dragon Ball. Then we come on to the podcast, talk about them. We do improv. There's a lot of that. We do fun stuff. There's equal parts fun and improv in there. We discuss the episode in detail. Sometimes we get sidetracked. We do some bits. There's some stuff in there that you're, you are going to love it. Trust me. Um, but before we get into the episode proper, and you know, I know y'all, y'all know this, but bef- y'all know this the deal. But for everybody who's new to the podcast, we got to do something before the party gets started. We got to do some common housekeeping. We can't, we can't bring people into a dirty house. What, what do you think this is? This is high school. This is professional. Yeah. Clean up. We're pros. Young man. Yeah, if you're throwing a party and you're not 18, clean your fucking house. <laughs> or clean your apartment. Nobody wants to go to your dirty-ass apartment or house to have a party and then looking around and your socks are all over the place. You haven't cleaned your cat's litter box. You, your dog it's, needs to walk in. Fix your shit. It's awkward, man. I Look. Fill your fridge. Gotta, we, I know we got to do some comedy housekeeping. Yeah. But I had a roommate. Go on. Uh... Had a cat. Breach. Cute cat. Big meow. old boy. Meow, meow. Uh, never changed the litter box. Ooh, ever. Ugh, and the it. litter box was in the basement. And then, and so no one went in the basement. Come on, man. Come on, man. That poor oh, cat. Oh, not man. <laughs> that, 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 come on, person. Come on, person. <laughs> we got to clean the proverbial litter box. We got to clean saying. the proverbial litter box. That's it. And the first thing we got to do to start cleaning up is something we call the One Minute Roundup. I don't care if you're the preacher. Give me a high five. Ah, uh, well, son, the, the, the way that the church goes, one can't lug, just... Lug, lug. I see you're imbibing, which is quite fine. I know times out here are hard. These are, these are hard folks, and that's why the word of God is more important now than ever. And also, I'm a germaphobe. So, I will not be I'm... high-fiving you, my, my sweet, sweet son, but I will be imparting you the good word of the Father, the nah. Son, and the Holy... Look, first of all, I don't know your fancy language. Second of all, you think you're too good to touch my palm to your palm in brotherly broness? Well... Pick up. Yes, young Hiccup, I will shake your hand if that's what you require of no. me to slap. Now, I, I am not a violent Up man. Top. I am, I, like I said before, Robocop. I'm, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and scene. scene. So that's a little uh, warm up scene set in the West because. Why not? And uh, we do that to warm up our improv muscles to get ready for the show itself. Um, and when one of us breaks, this time it was Aaron because he dropped the best line Always ever. Always Aaron. Up top RoboCop. <laughs> well, what's the down low? If it's up top RoboCop, what's down low? Um, Bobo Bo? <laughs> Ro- Robo Bros. Down, down low. low. Get 10% off at Bonobos.com. <laughs> not, a, not a sponsor yet. Um, yet. But uh, the one minute roundup is actually where one of us, this time Aaron, has oh, one no. minute. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I oh, always yes. forget. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, where one of us, this time Aaron, has one minute to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball up until this point. So if you're, if you're keeping that tally at home, that is 134 episodes of Dragon Ball. Aaron must now summarize in one minute, and I am smirking to all hell because it's so hard to do this. But I believe in you, Aaron. I totally believe that you could do this. You're going to be comprehensive. Everybody's going to get it because you're great. So whenever you're Aww. ready, I believe you can take it away. All right, summarizing everything that has happened in Dragon Ball in under a minute, which is more than two episodes a second, but whatever. (laughs) I won't think about that. I'm going to clear my mind and just go with it. And I'm going to do that in 
a second because I'm like, oh yeah, I need my phone for this so I can set a timer. <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one. Dragon Ball centers around seven magic crystal balls. If you collect them all, you get any wish you want. And it centers around Goku, who's that main boy. And he's a little monkey alien, kind of. And he does karate. And the first adventure, he met all of his friends, most of his friends, <clears throat> while trying to stop a little goblin from taking over the world, which he did. Then he trained with Master Roshi, who's a pervert, and his best and his new friend, best friend, rival Krillin. And he trained a bunch, got strong, entered the Tenkaichi tournament, but he lost to his master in disguise. Then he tried to get one of the Dragon Balls back because it was a memento of his, and in doing so, he beat up the Red Ribbon Army, which was a bad militia, and they sucked. Then he fought a bunch of monsters and saw his dead grandpa and had a nice reunion and finally got that last ball. Then he trained for like three years, entered another Tenkaichi tournament, made some more enemies, but then he turned into friends, but he got second place again. Then he beat up the Demon King, King Piccolo, because he killed his boy Krillin. And then he like trained for three years with God, and now he's a big boy, and he's... About, he's in the prelims, another Tenkaichi. Uh. Oh! Oh! Sugoi! Um, nice job, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And uh, for, Domo. for the listeners, why we do that is so you don't have to go back and listen to every episode we've ever done to get caught up or watch every episode of Dragon Ball because, honey, that is a commitment that I'm sure not <laughs> everybody's willing to make like we did. So we do that just so you can get a, a quick summary and jump and right some in. Some listeners... Uh-huh. If you'll if you'll recall some of our recent letters, some listeners have been keeping up along in various ways. Oh yes, through the manga, through the, but, uh, through the manga, or through watching along with us. Yeah, we and we salute you and your commitment. Your commitment gives us hope. Um, but yeah, if if you didn't quite get all the info that you were looking to get out of that, and you still got some questions, like well, what? How do, he's a big boy now, but what happened between now and he's a little boy and what do you mean he was training with God? And who's a goblin guy? <laughs> yeah, don't don't just breeze through that part. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't don't just forget he trained with God for three years. Um, but you can you can go back and listen to our old episodes. We've got some great ones in there. Um, some really great special guests. Some really just fun, fantastically funny stuff that we've done. And uh, we'd love for you to to listen to that. But uh, now we got to get to the second piece of comedy housekeeping which is where I tell you that Aaron and I watched two different versions of the show. I watched the English dubbed version, and Aaron watches the Japanese sub English language subtitled version. And why we did that? It was a happy accident that we turned into a love child of <laughs> a podcast segment format. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, there are different... The translations make different context for things there's different music so it just adds for the contrast and and adds to the discussion that we were about to have so usually the first thing that is different is the title of the episode so aaron may i ask you to start this time Mm, certainly my dear boy and as always we're looking for that sweet sweet yahtzee but i really doubt it on this one. <laughs> All right, let me roll them bones cuz Dragon Ball episode 135, the Japanese language title roughly translated is <clears throat> The Chosen 8. Mm, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. That's a good one. Here here comes the English title coming at you. Episode 135 of Dragon Ball Battle of the 8. So close. Mm, no. <laughs> close. Battle yet. It's it's not it's not one of those popular battle royales that the kids love. Yeah. That you can play on anything. You can play it on yeah. a TI eighty three now. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, no one's dabbing. There's no dabbing. Keanu Reeves is not one of the eight. He's in everything. Keanu Reeves is in everything right now, Aaron. Everything good, yeah. Everything good. Toy Story 4, Cyberpunk 2077. The John Wick game that's coming out sometime soon. A new Bill and Ted got green-lighted, and the cast was revealed, and it looks like a lot of fucking fun. Um, John Wick 3, Parabellum. If you're not, if you haven't seen that movie, go see that movie. God. Eric, did you see him in Cyberpunk 2077? Yeah, I saw him in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh Johnny Silverhand. 
Yeah. Ooh, the ghost, the ghost in the, your head. The ghost of Rocker Boy. The ghost, the ghost cyborg Rocker Boy who fought in the Great War, got lost his arm, got a silver arm. Ah, oh, Johnny Silverhands. Ah, oh, he's so. <laughs> then cool. I was like, I guess I'll play guitar now. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Get, wake it's the crazy. fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. I can't stop. Can't stop. Uh, uh, different podcast. Different podcast because he's also Duke Kaboom in Toy Story Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Keanu. Ch- uh, ch- no, that's a bad name. Hold on. Um, riffing about Reeves. Oh yeah, the new Keanu podcast. We're riffing about Reeves. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, you heard Dog Star? That's his band. <laughs> he still plays in because why not? He does it all. We just bought one of his motorcycles from his company, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. boy, oh boy, are they cool. And I love holding Aaron's waist while we ride it. Well, we pretend to ride it, because I'm too scared. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We just sit it in the driveway and go vroom, vroom. <laughs> we put a fan up. <laughs> so we could look like Beyonce. We put, a, we yeah, put yeah, a fan up. We put our Beyonce wigs on. Y'all know that weird Kanye video where it's like, uh-uh, honey. Oh, yeah, 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 from yeah, yeah. Jesus, the album. Yeah. I, I literally got mad at that album. It was so it was so frustrating. It was so frustratingly artistic. I was like, oh god damn it. I just heard you and watched the throne. You, you could do both, you asshole. Yeah, so just imagine slash Photoshop us mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In, in in that video. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what style. we've been doing. That's what we've been doing. And it's great. And I've already I'm very close to pre-ordering the deluxe edition of Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, no, no. It's another, we got like 10 more months. I know. No, less than 10. Less than 10 months. And it, it, it's, you know, even even that kind of excitement of, well, so ends Riffin' with Reeves. Mm-hmm. Riffin' with Reeves. Um, whoa. <laughs> Did you do the whoa? I, w- I mean, I added I, that was an audio drop. Yeah, yeah it's an audio drop of the woe. That, that's we, fantastic. Yeah, we get a soundboard for we, Riffin' with Reeves. <laughs> we don't have one for the podcast. We're we already at 2,000 for- patrons on <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> it's somehow way more profitable than this one. Um, <laughs> so let's, let's quickly move on to the episode <laughs> proper because there are twists, there are turns. We are in the thick of the there prelims. burns. There are burns. To, as well. There's, there's burns. Yeah. Some some so, folks come back. Some familiar jive talk. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's some slams. Some, there's some slams. Some gam. Eh, yeah. Oh, I, I dare say there are gams. There are gams. Under the frame. <laughs> <laughs> I assume. But we got to start right where the last episode left off. Goku just defeated King Choppa handily in the first match of the preliminary round. So everybody's like, oh, Goku's so great. Goku's so great. Everybody look at Goku. He's so great. <laughs> and now, you know, we saw poor Chaozu get taken out by Cyborg Mercenary Tao. And we're, we are whittling down. We're, we're culling the field of 72 down to eight. The crowd outside is at fever pitch. They want to see the action. They want blood, Aaron. And they get it. <laughs> They get all the blood. <laughs> oh, they see some several injuries. So uh, Roshi, Bulma, Launch, Oolong, and Poir outside trying to get a, a peek to see what's going on in there. And out come the injured. And unfortunately, they get to see poor Chaozu, our, our clown ghost boy. He, he's knocked out. They're wondering, who could have done this? Must be somebody very powerful. I'm surprised that Bulma is the one that went with him to the hospital. Same. Aaron, is she maturing? I mean, technically, yes. Trick trick question. No, she's not. <laughs> no, she's still fine. She's, she's, she just went she just went to ask about Yamcha. Yeah, she was like, she trying to wake him up. Just, Tell me about Yamcha. Is he doing okay? Is his ponytail is, still nice? Is Goku shirtless yet? <laughs> Yeah, how Descri- many how many shirtless men are there that I could potentially <laughs> flirt with? Describe the glistening, Chaozu. Describe it. But poor Chaozu can't. He's knocked out. We again still alive. Mm-hmm. He, he, we can't have. We can't do back to back deaths. No. Too many. That's too many cooth. small boys dying. Yeah. I can't. I can't handle it. I can't. No, the audience can't. We can't. They would do that to us. 
But we get we get a look back inside the prelims, and Mercenary Tao seems to be the one that is sending all these folks to the hospital. Between him and uh, Junior, they're just cleaning yeah. up out there. Uh, Ode P. Junior is some guy like touched him begging for mercy and Piccolo, and he's just very disgusted. Like, don't touch me. Yeah, he said, don't kick. Yeah, don't touch me. Kicked him out of the ring. Mercenary Tao is just like, see how strong I am, everyone? Mm-hmm. And very knowingly looking at Goku, like, I'm going to kill you too. Um, Notice my mustache. I didn't cyberize that. You can't, <laughs> can't fix perfection, baby. <laughs> he's, he's on the operating table. They're just like, Mercenary Tao, we can give you all kinds of cybernetic enhancements. A, a new brain, legs, and arms yes, that go far beyond it. human potential. Mm, give me those stretchy Inspector Gadget arms. You've yes. got it. And, and Mercenary Tao, we just we want to make sure that your face is intact, so never again will you be blown it, blown to bits by a bomb. All we need to do is remove the uh, soft that's, palate. I'm still, still sensitive about that, but keep going. We just need to remove that soft palate and... To do that, we'll need to shave your mustache for surgery. And I'm choking you out. <laughs> oh, mercenary <must> Tao! <laughs> if you lay a single hair on my hairs, then when I wake up from this surgery, I won't pay with money. I'll pay with murder. You got that, Doc? Was that a poem? I'm letting go now. <coughs> Was that a poem? I had I have several quips pre-written if you can add them to my cyber brain. <laughs> I'd much much obliged. Sure, sure, mercenary tell. Whatever you like. <laughs> Put it in a folder called Crandoms. Cr- Crandoms, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> I'll have my nurse get on that file right away. And then there's a there's a couple of images if you could hide in a couple different folders. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Folders within folders. I know what you're saying, mercenary. Maybe tale. maybe mark the top one homework. Of course. <laughs> Well, Mark, one of them homework, one of them taxes. Yep. <laughs> the other medical expenses. Misk. <laughs> Misk. Of course, Mercenary Tao. Mm, yeah. You, you, you got me, dog. Word. <laughs> punch it. Punch it. All right. You're going under. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> and and see. Oh, you dirty boy. <laughs> oh, Mercenary Tao. <laughs> Even on the I got the hard drive table. space. He's got, gotta use it. He's got all that flash storage. <laughs> He's got that SSD in there. <laughs> Super fast recall. So we, yeah, like you said, we see these quick cuts of these fights. Uh, and yeah, but, I, I wanted to say it's important to note that Goku is watching on as Piccolo Junior oh, is yeah. is doing his thing, and he's he's almost smiling. He he says like, "Wow." Piccolo Jr., like, he's got the same energy as Piccolo, but he's far more skilled and better trained. Yeah, he says flat out that P. Jr. is stronger than P. Sr. Oh, yeah. So, I'm I'm hype. If you're not hype, you, you better get hype. Because this, this fight's going to be epic. So, for some reason, we... You know that mass fighter that was, like, bebopping around? For some reason, we... Go to him. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Don't know why. But uh, he's fighting that he, Russian strongman from the thirties. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's classic carnival strongman mm-hmm. lifting those squar weights. <laughs> yeah, it's just written in chalk like a billion on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got a, <laughs> he's got a leopard print leotard on with the, with the singular strap. Step right up, step right up. Come see the strongest man in the world from the far east, from Russo continent. He's here to show you what strength is really like. He says the West doesn't know what strength is. Uh, judo swing. Uh. Step right up, step right up. See the Russian strongman lose to a masked fighter. See him lose and renounce his Russian heritage. <laughs> See him walk away in shame. See him childishly, childishly throw a fire hydrant at no one. For no reason. Like a baby, like, see the giant baby man (laughs) throw a wah-wah tantrum. Wah-wah, he says. (laughs) Only $5 for the show. (laughs) 
Just kidding. No one's allowed in the prelims. Aha, suckers. You've been scammed. <laughs> I'm out. Zip. Grift away. <laughs> so, I mean, that's I like, essentially I like what that. Happened. That's the character's name now is Grift. <laughs> Grift away. Grift away. Grift out of here. Grift on out. <laughs> Grift into the beat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to get to this. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. It's a very <clears throat> dumb joke. But so the mass fighter. They do they announce their numbers as these people are as these fighters are winning matches? Yes. What number do they give the mass fighter? Aaron, I I totally forget. Oh. <laughs> I did. I, was, I didn't write it down for this this fight, but I wrote it down on, it, on subsequent pages. I, I was just upset that they they gave him the number sixty four, and I'm like, uh, <sighs> so close, so close, <laughs> so close. Uh, but that's, it's not, look, that would have just been the cherry on top of this very good gag. Yes. That we're about to get. <laughs> do you want to do the, do you want to do the honor, sir? I was going to let you keep rolling. You're, you're on it. So again, as, as old Grift away stated, the strong man threw a fire hydrant. There's a bunch of smoke because he's a little baby. And the mass fighter gets mad about it, so mad that he so jumps mad. up and bites <laughs> the strong man's butt. Why would he bite his butt? That's his move. That's his signature move. Uh, I can't stand it. <laughs> He's biting butts. Mass fighter's out here biting butts. The tournament of power is. I mean, the World Martial Arts Tournament is drunk right now. Everybody's just do uh, it's it's crazy. I I had no idea what was going to happen. I thought he's going to put him in like an arm bar or a mm. leg lock or something. Nope. A swift kick. Yeah. He just bites his big old people, butt. They're trying to pull him off him. He's yeah. like a dog. It, t- it took two people to restrain the mass fighter's jaws. They had to get the they had to, you know, do the pit bull thing. Put a finger in his butt. Let yeah. him make him let go. <sighs> yeah, that was... And, and, like, what? <laughs> it just... It, it, so far out of left field. So far out of left field. I... I have a cannon, Nick Cannon. Ooh, 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 ooh. But it has to... But it has to wait until more information is present. Ah. But this, just get get ready. Get ready. Because there I, are some reveals and some feels that we got to get through mm-hmm, first. Mm-hmm. I have the button at the ready. So mm-hmm. yeah, you tell me when, and I'll hit the butt. So we they kind of rush us through these prelims a yep. bit. We are our, our our boys. They all clean up. Goku, Tien, Krillin, whose number is sixteen. Again, so close mm-hmm. for a referat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yamcha gets in, but whatever. Piccolo gets in. <laughs> I I did like all the like. I like the characterization of Junior, like because he's he's beating these folks handily, right? And like on the one where he gets into the prelims, he's like choking someone, and like you see the the character kind of go limp, and then the announcer's like, "Okay, okay just let him let him go." Mm. <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. he does he does he lets him go. I'm just like, that's pretty cool though. I'm pretty. I'm pretty into this. Uh, That's a choking again, as as we did in our improvised scene. Uh, yes, choking is a. It's that's always a villain move. Yes. Heroes don't choke. Heroes never choke. Choke. Heroes don't choke. Heroes don't do drugs. I w- heroes stay in school. Heroes stay in school, and heroes don't choke. I would look. I don't know. Choking is a very efficient way to subdue someone. Oh, it takes forever though in real life. It does take. Forever. I which I, I, know I mean we don't know. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who knows? Who knows? Who knows that it takes exactly I've three never. minutes and fourteen seconds for a man who's two hundred twenty pounds? Yeah, constantly applying pressure to the carotid artery and the windpipe in order to get the most coverage, and it. But who knows? I don't know. Yeah, you know, always approaching from behind yeah. in order to avoid. Uh, being hit by the person you're trying to subdue, but uh, yeah, 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 I don't know how that works. Look, we don't know. We don't know. But it is. I mean, it's badass. Badass. We know that. We know. We know that much. Uh, Tell Pai Pai gets in again yes. through cyber almost murder. Cyber nearly murder. 
uh, the mysterious woman gets in. She does. Not from knockout, but from tap out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the fighter she was up against is on his hands and knees saying, okay, no, 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 no more, please, please, no oh. more. So that's cool. Goku, and he's like, again, she's just glaring at him, and Goku can't figure out who it is. He does, in mine, he at least says, mm, she does seem kind of familiar. So that's seven, right? That's seven. People yep. entered three. Final match, it's the mass fighter, again, for some reason. And this nonsense going on. Yeah. We have, he looks like Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, I, was, if, I, I wrote down, like, he's got a problematic mustache. Yeah. We'll say, yeah, we'll say Chaplin on this one. Mm-hmm. He looks like Chaplin who, who runs the bodega. Yes. This is right? a bodega owner. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I'm like, Guys, we've seen it. We've all seen this guy. Don't. Big, thick glasses. Mm-hmm. You kind of know. Uh, what? White button up. White button up, black pants, standard uniform. Working hard. Oh, Working well. hard for his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that's what they wear. That's what they wear. In movies, at least. <laughs> and he, he this, this fighter, I think his lot number, because they wrote this down, is number 70. So they just call him number 70 in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he's going up against the mass fighter. I don't know. Did you get the sense that the mass fighter knew who this person was? Or was just like, oh, this guy, I don't know what this guy He, quote, the mass fighter. <clears throat> the mass fighter. Sorry, I don't know where that came from. He, uh, quote, was the deal with this middle-aged dweeb? You know, in that kind of voice. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. That would be the voice that would sound like the mass fighter. Mm-hmm. Just, it's only natural. Um, but, yeah. no, he does not know him because... This guy had to take a potty break. Oh, yeah. I guess his nerves got to him. More like his nerds. Hey, oh. <laughs> oh. Booked up. Slap. Eat it. Ooh, good one, Mass Fighter. <laughs> so, Thank you. <laughs> he, he, he almost doesn't get in because he looks like, again, a nerd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as soon as he gets, he's allowed to get back in the ring. He starts doing these stretches. Mm-hmm. Um, the ref tells him he has his fly down. Oh. And everyone laughs at him. Oh, boy. Oh, well, uh, the height of comedy. <laughs> X, Y, Z on anime scale. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I did I did laugh. I was like, I, I, that was not what I was expecting. But also, an X, Y, Z joke. <laughs> Come on, bud. Come on, man. He's got those. He's got blue striped boxers. Now we see. Oh, we see plenty. They, they, yeah, they close. Man, they, cl- they close up on that fly mm-hmm. down. And Krillin, yeah, Krillin has like the best, most genuine guffaw that they cut to him doing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and Krill, Krillin is yucking up a storm along with the rest. Of the fighters. It's, oh, I could hear, I could listen to Krillin laugh all day. <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. Big and boisterous, yeah. He's a little man with a boisterous laugh. Yeah, plus you'd know he's having a good time and not, you know, die. Yes. <laughs> that would be an added bonus. Yeah, Krillin never laughs when he dies. We all know that. Yeah. Can't die laughing, that's the truth. Look, this mass fighter's got it in the bag. Right. It's all, it's all I was saying and all was what I was thinking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but once that fight starts, uh, number 70 charges at the mass fighter. Mass fighter is like, all right, here we go. Tries to just, he's going to make a simple punch. Uh, number 70 slips, Aaron quotes, slips and mm-hmm. falls, and then mm-hmm. comes up, knock, hitting his head to the chin of the mass fighter, knocking the mass fighter out, Wins the round in a TKO. Mm, I dare say a KO. KO. Yeah. But I he, KO. look, man, I'm a little upset for for a few reasons. One, this dude, seventy, he busted my bracket. Oh my god! Could you imagine? <sighs> I mean, everybody's right bracket. out of the right out of the gate. Yeah, right out of the gate. <laughs> don't even. I don't care about the Sweet Sixteen. It doesn't fucking matter. Duke losing it's in the first done. round. 
I know, Villanova losing in the first round after winning the tournament the year before. Oh, God. That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. I can't tell you how mad I was at Villanova that I, I've been mad. I've been mad at Villanova ever since that happened. Like, f- fuck you, Villanova. <laughs> Jesus. You turn out weak ass NBA prospects every year. And then, then you got the nerve to show up at the tournament acting like you hot shit and you lose in the first round. You're the two seed, homie. You lose in the first round? Mm mm mm. What was that, 2013? Vince, you gotta look. You gotta let go. Ah, sorry, I'm sorry. You got, <laughs> it's I thought you were talking about be, because of my, you know, expansive knowledge of basketball. I thought you were talking about last year. No, 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 no. They they didn't do shit last year. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you if you're associated with Villanova, I'm sorry, but f- fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need you. Yeah. So that was one reason why, man. Two. They called that KO real quick. Real man. quick. Ooh, someone's on the inside. Uh, there's mm-hmm. 70s got someone on the inside mm-hmm. for sure. That, Not nerd, even a, that nerd's playing 3D chess. Mm-hmm. Not even a 10 count. Mm-mm. Yeah, he couldn't even get couldn't even give the mass fighter a 10 count. Yeah, because he got up. He wasn't hurt. Yeah. That is that's a good point, Aaron. I, didn't I mean, even just think his pride. Was. Yeah, just his pride. And his girlfriend's number. <laughs> lost his pride, his girlfriend's no. Yep. And he lost his anonymity because mm-hmm. the mass fighter having me defeated and going up to the corner to sulk. And also change? <laughs> yeah, he's just changing in front of everyone, which is come on, man. It's very well now now Fuck that we... yeah, I got nothing left to lose. <laughs> Uh, because as he's changing, we see familiar robes, mm-hmm. familiar big hair, and then finally a familiar... Sensual Tama. <laughs> yes. That's what it is, right? Tama, no. yeah. No, it's a Tama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's, got, he's got that hot Tama on. <laughs> hey, Black's a good look. It's a good look. It's a good look. He's hoping to get a little action out of this tournament with a Tama like that. With a Tama <laughs> like that, you know, that's a lacy Tama. <laughs> Mm, yeah, 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 velvety smooth. <laughs> All right, we're stalling. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's Yajirobe. If you could, if you didn't figure it out, it's Yajirobe. You could have figured it out, Mister Policeman. I gave you all the clues. Yeah, Mister Policeman, I gave you all the clues. So then look, I put their I... heads in snowman. <sighs> snowman. Get the... it? Ugh. <laughs> I can't go on a snowman tangent because I didn't watch it. I just know about the poster. Anyway, what I do want to get to is Vince, bring that button back, baby. Because if Yajirobe is the mass yes. fighter, yes, and the mass fighter is biting butts, then Yajirobe eats ass. Yajirobe <laughs> eats ass, and that's canon. canon. Not Nick Not Cannon. Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, it, fellas, give it that boy matter, a ring. Because it's true. Oh. Not your OB, eat ass. Oh, if you oh. want a meet and freak, <clears throat> Ooh. I know who you can call, That's bud. a meet and freak. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gotta buy that domain. Yajirobe eats ass dot com. Yajirobe eating ass dot com. He's he, biting booties over here. <clears throat> he's look, he's chopping off tails. He didn't. He's like, I gotta get that thing out of the way. <laughs> That's not conducive <laughs> to eating ass. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is the grossest we've ever been in a while. So uh, we should probably go to commercial. Yes, commercial. <laughs> Sunday, 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 coming to a auditorium near you. Grift Away's magical mischief fool em ups tour is coming to your town. No way! Mom, Dad, Grift Away's coming to a town near us. We gotta who, go. Grift Away? That magical, mysterious huckster? Who, who's a hit with uh, all the ladies? I don't know, son. I heard that Grift Away is only there to steal your pocket change and turn it into profit for him. He, I even heard he exploits some of his workers as I read the paper. Remove all of your fears about exploitation 
and enjoy some scantilization as Griftaway asks you to pay money to go inside his tent, which has been put up not this morning. It's been here a while, promise. I don't know. It sounds too good to be true. They can't have something for everybody in the family. Something for a father, a mother, and a child. Well, honey, let's hear out this commercial. Yeah, Dad, let's hear out the commercial. For dads, we have the art of grilling with Guy Fieri. He's going to teach you how to go to Flavortown. My paper's bent in half, and I'm interested. For mothers, we have... A tin cookie box full of buttons. But the buttons sing the love theme from Titanic. Mom, you love all of those things. I do. I'm basic. And what about me? What's for little old Johnny? And for you youngsters out there, why uh, a peek at a lady's hind. But it's behind a, it's behind a curtain that says... Cap guns and bubble gum, so as not to alert your parents. Don't tell. I love cap guns, Mom, and bubble gum. I didn't hear that last part. I'm just excited. You're excited. Man, I'm going to finally, maybe, hit puberty. Oh yeah. That's right. Every every ticket guarantees a puberty hit. <laughs> Come on down to your local arena. You know the one. Sunday only from about 5:10 to 5:15. I'll be taking I'll be taking your money while inside my very fast car that's already running. Griftaway and Associates is, are not responsible for any loss of income or money while at Griftaway's four-minute show. Griftaway is not responsible for any... There are no refunds. I repeat, there are no refunds. Grift away to adventure! Also, grift away me, suckers! Honey, did he say suckers at the very end of that? I don't know. The Eagles lost again. God damn! Damn it, the band is down. Whoa, we're back from a commercial that I think needs more disclaimers, <laughs> if I'm Look, honest. We just, sometimes we just get them in, and we play it, and look, don't matter where that money come from, it's green, baby. Hey, money, money green, money green. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. So we have, we're, we're starting to get our brackets going yeah, Jerobi's just like, man, I wasted my time. Why'd I get knocked out? This is some BS. He said also, he's like, no one, He after he lost, he goes, no one's that lucky. So he knows something's up. I think it's later on. Oh, is he, it later on? I, I don't, I'm not quite sure when it happens, but he's like, there's, that dweeb is not all he's cracked up to be. That middle-aged guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a lot stronger than he looks, and I'm also with you. I, I noticed when you were describing it, you were giving a lot of Aaron quotes, and I have to agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think there might be a little drunken master style oh, thing yeah. kind of going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm getting that sense. Middle manager style, mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. they call it. Oh, the announcer's back. He's oh, back, and he's got sweet, a mustache. My sweet mustachioed child. He, he's killing. He is, he's killing the game. He is loving that 80s lifestyle. He's crushing it. Absolutely just, crushing it. Just all the cocaine and convertibles and personal electronics he can get his fucking hands he's on. Hanging out with Dog President. He's probably got one of those cell phone briefcases. He can make mm -hmm. any call anywhere. <laughs> he's voting for Michael Dukakis. He is doing it up. He's doing it big. He is, and understandably... Freaks the fuck out when I he sees Krillin. I, I like, oh, really yeah, like. Right. I really liked that. That was one of my favorite parts of this entire episode. Was him legit having a a crisis when he sees Krillin. He's just like, wait, no, you you were dead. I watched like you die. <laughs> like he like says, he, I watched you die. He die. Uh, he is like he because he runs up to him like starts praying. Yeah. He's like, is this a demon boy? Is this a ghost from beyond the grave? And yeah. Then, Oh, man, it cracked me up. Krillin's just like, no, that's, I came back to life. It's no big deal, guy. <laughs> Krillin's very Casual nonchalant. He's like, no, buddy, it's okay. I just came back to life. 
John Lennon style. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, man. I just, you know, came back to life. I I traveled for a little bit, and it's good to see you. how you been. <laughs> like, no, how have you been? Because <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, you've been dead. Dead. I saw it. I cradled you. <laughs> but I he, held your bald, the, you know, dead head in my hands. <laughs> the court. I was there when the coroner called it. <laughs> I saw you capsuled. <laughs> I, saw, I saw you capsuled. Oh, that's dark. It's dark as hell. The announcer, he's a professional, I think, because he accepts it real quick Mm -hmm. and moves on with the events. Because it's time to draw lots Mm -hmm. for for the for the semifinal matches. Ooh. So let's we should let's go in order of how they're gonna happen, right? Right, right. Let's do that. I'll take one, you take one. Yep. So first match Cyber Tao Pai Pai versus Tien. And of course, like no other way, right? No other way. It's uh, got to go down like this. And I think I have this right. It, the second match is Goku versus Anonymous Woman. Yes, she is. Uh, because I guess the Japanese version is a little more woke. They just say anonymous. No, they, they don't just, have to. They don't say, have. They don't label it. I'm labeling it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. Then everyone's great. Then you're bad, is what we're saying. I, I'm a bad man. <laughs> I'm a bad man. Just so, that's for the audience. It's for the audience. Make sure we're all on the same page. It's still the same, the same, the same woman that Goku does not know, but mm-hmm. kind of knows. But she knows Goku. But she's going by anonymous. Mm-hmm. The toughest fighter name. Yes. Uh, third is Mao Junior. Is what he what they're what he's going by Mao Ma Manzuka. So like. The first syllable of Manzuku, right? Sure. Yeah. So yeah, Ma, yeah. he's going by Ma Junior. Ma Junior. Yeah. The sequel to the movie Ma. <laughs> but he's fighting Krillin, which is. <sighs> I am a little upset. <laughs> Why? One. Krillin's gonna lose. Well, I don't think we're ever going to see Krillin and Goku fight ever again. Maybe I know later on they spar, but like we'll never get no, like, we'll never a, get that same, you know, all or nothing fight ever again. Yeah, that that was good. That was a good fight, and it would have been nice if yeah. we got if we got that again. And I, but we don't. We, we don't. We like we know what's going to happen. And then, but I'm sure Krill, Krillin's going to. I I'm sure Krillin's going to put up a good fight. Oh, I can't he's wait gotta, to see what he's techniques gotta, he's got. Oh yeah, he's got to he's got to get some revenge. Mhm. Oh, sweet sweet revenge. Um and then the fourth and final match of the semifinal round will be Yamcha versus Hero, which is the They middle. call him Shen. They call him Shen? Yeah. I thought I, that does sound more familiar than Hero. Hero Shen same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same Look, guy. What the important thing is that my note says Good. That's what he deserves. <laughs> yeah, Yamcha about to get embarrassed out here. Like, oh, hardcore. I can't wait till he loses. It's gonna, so it's gonna be real. I, I, I bet you it's gonna be quick. Yamcha's gonna do a bunch of like cool stuff. We're gonna see like an evolution of his wolf fang fist, maybe a new energy attack or something. But it's all for naught because, yeah. oh boy, Yamcha's gonna, Yamcha's yeah. gonna get. Look, man, it's gonna be. Let's see if I'm looking at the brackets correctly. Yeah, okay. We we're definitely gonna get a Goku rematch with Tien. Yes. For sure. Cause like it's gonna be Goku and Piccolo Jr. in the finals. We We all know that. It, we all true. know this. It's not we're not I haven't watched it and I know that. It could yeah, be yeah. I mean, I don't know, there's supposed to be someone like giggling like ha ha ha, you're wrong. I'm like, no, we we know we all know how this has to end. Yes. Or I will go fucking insane. <laughs> if it doesn't end like this, if it doesn't I end may like quit this, the podcast. I yeah, I think I think that would be grounds for us to take a long sabbatical and get <laughs> Goku and, and figure some has things to, out. Goku has to win this tournament and he has to win it against Piccolo Jr. That is the that's the only way this can go down. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So please don't tell us. <laughs> I don't know for sure what happens, but like, if we it are doesn't like happen like that, nine point nine 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 percent sure. That that's look, I'm happening. just betting my home <laughs> and all my belongings. We've on pulled it. all of our assets. We have amassed 
like between us, I think we were surprised at how much money we were able to come up with yeah. to put on the books for this. No, we bought a lot of Bitcoin. We bought a lot of Bitcoin. <laughs> Sat on it for 10 years. It's now worth millions. And now we're betting that on mm-hmm. this fight that happened 30 years ago. <laughs> that definitely don't tell me the ending to. Because we don't do research on this podcast. So we're we're pretty much as if we were there 30 years yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the, yeah, it's news to us. News to us. <laughs> those yeah, that's that's those are the brackies. And then Yamcha, Goku, and Krillin have news for Roshi because they got a little bit of time for the first match starts of the semifinals, and they they're just going to check on Roshi, see how everything's going, and uh, they're like, "Hey, Master Roshi, guess who's Bizak? It's Mercenary Tao, and he's a cyborg." That sounds like something Yamcha would say. <laughs> guess who's Bizak? Yeah, yeah, Yamcha Yo, thinks he's cool. Uh, he's just trying out new slang. He's got his Sony Walkman. I yeah, had. He, did you have one of those? I don't think I had Sony, but I did have a Walkman. Yeah, I might have had a Discman. Hmm. Um. Uh, I say I, I had, say the the Walkman, the Sony Walkman, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it was mine. It was my dad's. It's a hundred percent my dad's, but it was like the. The really cool one with like the uh, the Velcro that you could was strap like around your sporty? hand. Yeah, it's yellow with oh, the sport. Yeah, 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 with the sporty headphones and mm-hmm. um, and it had the anti skip feature and and all that. It was so cool. I was like, Dad, you could listen to the music anywhere. <laughs> they, uh, I want now Walkman. Like when I say Walkman, I say. Uh, you know, cassette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was the first, and I might have been the only family member to get one who had one. Status. I was definitely the first one. Yeah, I remember I when think- I got my first disc man because I got a sport disc man too. It wasn't Sony; it was like an off one, but it had like the it was like you sealed around it and all that kind of stuff. It was so cool. Sorry, ah oh, man, just see now. I'm just thinking about CD wallets. Oh, oh! You had to, you had to have you had to have your book of CDs in your bag. Mm-hmm. Yep. So at any given time, you could listen to something. So you had to like pick the CDs. Like I had like five, I always had five CDs that I was always going to listen to. It switched out like one or two. I thought it was living large with my three CD changer in my bedroom. Ooh! I, I was I could very... listen to like an hour and a half of music without touching it. It's great. <laughs> I was very I was very lucky. That my dad was an audiophile. He still is. And he had like a five disc CD changer Ooh. down in the basement with like these big production speakers. And like he'd just be blasting James Brown all afternoon while he's working down in the basement. It's so cool. Did you might have been a little young for this, but I do remember this is a CD chat. Um, I do remember <laughs> Being so impressed with my friends who had systems in their cars back when, you know, that was a thing. Yeah, <laughs> man. You had to do to impress people. Mm-hmm. When you spent a lot, way too much time in your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he had the like five, he had like a 10 disc CD changer. Yeah. So it had like the blocks that you slid the disc in. Yeah. And then like <laughs> loaded it like a fucking gun, like a magazine. Yeah, just like clicked in. Chick, chick. Oh. You are now ready to rock. <clears throat> Damn. Ooh, man. Damn. And then he had to remember the number. Yeah, you got to remember the you had to remember the like the row number. Which disc is this one? And then you had to remember which tra- like you had to re- you just had to remember everything because it would just say like disc 1 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. track 4 and you had to find the song or find the part of the song. Yeah. Oh man. Music First of all, this is like the most old man conversation I think we've ever I had. I know, this is the yet. oldest conversation. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Gen Z. Second, music used to be hard, guys. Mm-hmm. It used to be so, I mean, I don't want to go back. That sounds horrible. <laughs> yeah, let's not go back there. Uh, I don't want, yeah, like, it's fun, it's fun to reminisce, but fuck that. Yeah. It, just, it was cool to be around at that turn when music became yeah. portable. And then how aggressively music became portable. <laughs> Look, speaking of old man talk. Oh, yeah. 
as soon as soon as they mention Tao Pai Pai, guess who shows back up? None other than that real piece of shit, the Crane Hermit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I wrote <clears throat> after, you know, they warned Master Roshi about Tao being back and how he's fighting Tien in the first round. I was like, Crane Hermit, his ass is canceled. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, first of all, who paid you for dead? that reboot? Yeah, <laughs> uh, probably who did a Tim Allen show? Oh my God, Last Man Standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that an a- that was an ABC joint? It was. Oh, now yeah. who owns it? Fox. So it was probably Fox. Yeah, it's probably Fox. Look, the the traditional television audience is skewing older now. They have to, that's what they're programming, and they just stores. love. Salty hermits that did terrible things in the eighties and seventies, <laughs> and they they're able to look past it because he he can talk about the same things they want to talk about because he's mad about the country. <laughs> he's mad. He's mad about the country. He's mad about all these uh, dopey looking turtle <laughs> hermit schools uh, members because mm-hmm. he, he he spares no time in ripping on the outfits <laughs> of Goku. Oh, uh, he, he just and Tien. pray tell. What did he say? Because I don't think I get. A, he mentions it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because again, yeah. he's accusing them of being traitors, switching schools. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where Roshi is like, Nah, man, no one like we're beyond schools, bud. That was like three years ago. Basically, yeah. Roshi says they're no longer students of mine. They chose to wear that to honor me, but they're their own independent fighters. Mm-hmm. And Crane goes. You mean to tell me someone would choose to wear rags that crazy or that stupid looking? I was like, oh, Damn. he's a bad man. He got bad burns. <laughs> Crane him. I, the, the weirdest thing that he said in mine, <clears throat> and it don't, it don't make no sense. Maybe you can help me decipher this. Let me give you some advice. None of you turtle hermit dimwits better run away while the others are being slaughtered. <laughs> That's a weird. That, yeah. What is that? So it's adv- first of all, it's advice. Yes, this is the advice. Yeah. Don't, None of you. Yeah. No one. So you turtle hermits. Anyone in an orange gi, mm-hmm. run away. So don't run away while the others, which I'm assuming is the other turtle hermit student gi wearers. Well, are being I think maybe Tien and Chaozu. May or not, Ch- but I mean Tien now. Yeah, Chaozu later. My advice is not to run away while your friends are being killed. I don't know why that's like a slam. Yeah, I, maybe it's barely a jam. Maybe he's making sure that he's like, don't be a coward and try to run yeah. because we'll find you. I know you turtle hermits are always cowards. I mean, so don't do it. <laughs> it's like I, I don't like to run, so <laughs> I'm old. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did think that. We had seen the last of the Crane Hermit, but I he guess... He died! He's, he so died. He was riding high on a Kamehameha wave sent by Roshi mm-hmm. from across the arena into the distance. Yeah, there was a twink. I mean, wait, was there a twinkle? I don't remember, because the twinkle says everything's okay, right? There could, there could have been a twinkle. If Pokemon taught me anything. Yeah, as long as you're blasting off and there's a twinkle, you'll yeah. survive the fall? Yeah, it's my philosophy. My prerogative. Whenever I get in a plane, I say, I'm blasting off again, and I'll, I'll know I'll be fine. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Do you have a camera I'll, set up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, I get it notarized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this plane legally can't crash. I said this. Slide it under the door to the pilot. <laughs> Dear pilot, this one, not a terrorist. <laughs> two. <laughs> two, plane can't <laughs> crash. <laughs> By the rules of this land. By the rules of anime, this plane <laughs> cannot crash. As you're, you said you're it. St- standing up in the aisle, <laughs> drunk. I mean, uh, I was going to crash this plane, but uh, a young man slipped me a video cassette, so uh, I'm going to get you to uh, Nantucket. <laughs> Safe and sound. Aha! Victory! Sit back and in uh, as we blast off again. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> this is my co-pilot meow. <laughs> Meow. Who who wants to play board games? <laughs> board my games on a fl- board plane. My flight attendants, Jesse and James. 
Oh, Jesse and James. Team Rocket here to give you all of the thing. Uh, beverages. Beverages. <laughs> and we won't be looking into your bags for any Pikachus or anything. <laughs> Especially you three kids back there. Ash, Misty, and Brock, whose names we just guessed. Yeah, you all look like you all look like an Ash, Misty, and Brock. And twerps! You're also twerps! twerps. <laughs> Notice that there are exits in the front, middle, and rear. <laughs> we have alcoholic beverages for f- extra fee. We'd like to welcome our first class. <laughs> our, first, like this, our first class passenger, Giovanni. Me. <laughs> oh, this is all out of order. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look, all we're saying is uh get team. I Rocket don't Airlines. remember what the fuck we were saying. Well, what it How boils we down to, we got here, we got here off blasting off again. Mm-hmm, was mm-hmm. Crane actually dead? If not, there was a twinkle. There was. Okay, possibly. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. And then I wanted to tie it all together with fly the friendly skies with Team Rocket Airlines. Team Rocket, go Team Rocket. But I forgot all the team. I'm sorry, I forgot. I feel I was like, uh, what other Team Rocket stuff? I forget. There wasn't much. You too. Yeah, yeah we, that was kind of their thing. Yeah, stealing from children. Ste- stealing from. There kids. are other trainers. Just all right. <laughs> oh, if you're, you're, all right, if you're all right, all right. All right. All right, first of all, court secession. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron's court secession. <laughs> if you all are right. a member of, if you're a member of Team Rocket, you know what I'm doing. I'm I'm staking out these hometowns where people get their starter Pokemons, right? Yeah. You don't know how to battle yet. You're taking them you, off their hands. Yeah. You're racing for pinks. Or yeah. <laughs> or I'm doing some. Or because again, they're kids. I'm doing a trade. I painted this Pidgey blue. And named it something you never heard of because it's so rare. Oh, okay. Now I see. Now I Are see. Are you sure you want this? Uh, you don't want that boring Bulbasaur. It's, that's just a plant. What you want is this super Pidgey. <laughs> super blue. He's got a little cape and he's blue. <laughs> super Saiyan blue Pidgey. <laughs> super Saiyan. Yeah, you want this Super Saiyan God Pidgey. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Dunzo. We're, ra- we're racking it in. Team Rocket, man. Their business model hinged on one team <laughs> and, and one and one man named Giovanni's sadistic will to create the perfect Pokemon. Just love petting Persians. God, he loved petting Persians. Loves it. Look, I'll, and look, being a kid who's gotten some bad trades <laughs> in his life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, being a teen who's gotten some bad trades in his life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ain't no one care. Legally, you can't do anything. Can't do a damn thing. Also, the cops won't care. It's like, I don't know. You're dumb, kid. Yeah, those Lesson gen- learned. Those, those Jennies out there, they don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> Jennies are only there for the paycheck. <laughs> talk about yeah, we, safety of talk Pokemon. Talk to me when you're a real Pokemon trainer, not giving away your starter. Like some kind of chump. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go to school instead. <laughs> Also, please go to school. Our society desperately desperately needs. needs. No one is going to school. People barely work. Can't Why keep... do you think we have to clone Nurse Joyce? <laughs> there are no other medical professionals. Can't talk to a chancy about your health care issues. <laughs> they they're the only ones that they're the only ones that pass the exams. All right, <clears throat> as your bailiff, Aaron. I, I all right. I think we need to close Aaron Court. Uh, well, my verdict is steal po- stealing Pokemon's easy, in my opinion. If you're a rat bastard enough to do it, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Aaron Court dismissed. <laughs> um, so you know, after that in- interaction with Crane, Roshi and company are trying to get a good spot to see that first round fight. Ooh, yes, and uh. Uh, how did you feel about this? Because everybody's like, oh, man, we're too late. There's no spots. How are we going to get through all this crowd? Boma has an idea. And it's exploiting her own friend launch. 
She takes a, a reed? <laughs> yeah, she, you know, that she uncapsules. <laughs> she uncapsules a reed. And uh, blue-haired launch sneezes, turns into blonde-haired launch. And then blonde-haired launch throws up two capsules. <laughs> Oh, it's the most badass thing in the world. This is It's really badass. She throws up two capsules. They pop. A handgun and a machine gun come out. She catches them. It, this is all very cinematic, by the way. And she it just starts laying into the crowd. <laughs> out of the way, unless you losers feel like dying. Exactly. And then uh, the best part is after launch clears the way. Bulma and Oolong are like do, doing the victory signs as they walk mm-hmm. through the crowd. I was like, that's that's pretty great. That was a Roshi, great Roshi's a little embarrassed in the background. Quar's a little embarrassed in the background. Oh, yeah. I didn't so, mind. I agree with you. Exploding your friend. But two, we get blonde launch. We get blonde launch for that tournament. Oh, she's got all is... these, she's got all the shouts. She gets to see her man run first. I missed her so much. We all did. And this, because this might be the last time we see her. Oh, Aaron, don't remind uh, us. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't Toriyama. so. The, the tracksuit god, Toriyama. <laughs> the boy, Goku, Krillin, Yamcha. They're, they're walking to the tournament. Goku's like, hey, man, don't. You ain't got to worry about Tai Pai Pai. Tien is way better. Uh, so things are going to be cool. Then he's like, oh, yeah, you fools. Want to try something, some good food? I love this. Some good tasting food. He said, I believe he does say, like, do you guys want to try some good tasting food? Oh, really? Yeah. And then he pulls out a needle and some steroids. <laughs> some steroids. As, essentially, <laughs> he pulls out sensu beans. Yeah. But he's acting like like he's being a little sneaky. He's, he's like, being a little cagey. You guys want a little, uh, you want a little keep up before, <laughs> before we do this shit? He's like, hey, all the real fighters, they eat sensu beans right before they yeah. fight. You would be great, right? You won't have to eat anything for 10 days. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't be super fighting, right? You wouldn't be super full. Mm-hmm. You know, that thing everyone wants to be during a fight, super full. full. I want to be stuffed to the gills. Uh. Um, but then, joke's on Goku, because Krillin and Yamcha goes, hey, those look like sensu beans. Boop. 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 They, they share a sneak, uh, <clears throat> a smirk with each other. Like, Goku, you're behind the times. Get with it, brother. Because Goku you didn't been on, know. You ain't been on Earth for three years. Yeah, you've been you've been hanging with God. You lost all perspective, Goku. What happened to you? Um, think you're big, huh? Think you're big time? Because you, cause you get to hang with God? Turns out, the whole squad did end up going to Korin Tower. They trained with Master Korin. They became friends with Yajirobe. Yeah, it's, it, like they're like, oh yeah, we met this guy Yajirobe. We told him about the tournament, and I love that. Like they all kind of n- know him now because Goku's like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like Yajirobe's thing. <laughs> and um, and yeah, so they all trained with Master Korin, so we know what kind of level they're on at least. Yeah. To, another, at, yes, another. The next, the next. So uh, they've all had training with Master Korin, then they went off and trained on their own for a couple of years. Right. So I'm curious how long it took. So Goku took three days three at days. Korin's Tower. Yeah. I'm curious how long it took them. Right, because there are five of them. So did each of them do the Divine Water Trial at, like one after the other or, or what? Which it's, I mean, that's the question, right? How were they three years ago versus Goku when he was Goku a- six years ago? Mm. Mm-hmm. I think this is also highlighting the absolute, like, terrifying gap between their power and Goku's power. Yeah. Because Goku has consistently been training since that time and getting much, much stronger. Yeah. Training, doing it, doing extreme, it, take, drinking poison goop. Yes. As dispensed by the Legion of Doom personified. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, ain't no one getting that back. Yeah, right? So uh, it's almost like there's almost no hope of them catching him. But Yeah, but we'll see. We'll but see. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll Who see. knows? Because Goku's very confident about Tien uh, being extremely strong uh, going into this first fight. Yeah, Goku's not... Goku knows what the main event is, but he is still excited about 
like fighting was, these other boys. And yeah. Like, oh man, thank God they didn't just hang out by the beach. Mm-hmm. Good thing they didn't get married and like have lives and <laughs> enjoy their lives and put down roots. Thank God. Thank thank God they had an unhealthy obsession with their closest friend and also rival. <laughs> you know. Um, thank God they just went to the gym. <laughs> 24-7. They got that subscription, man. You got to make it worth it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's practically free if you go all the time. Uh, and then, you know, the, the match is about to start between Tao Pai Pai and Tien. And uh, the announcer is giving the crowd, getting the crowd hype. You remember why he's so good at his job and why he's been doing it forever. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody's back backstage hanging out. Tao and Tien are walking out, and Tao is very confident. He goes, "Look, Tien, I'm not going to kill you now." And he's like, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wound you and beat you. After I win the championship, that's when I'll kill you. Yeah, and Goku, and all yeah, your fucking see? friends." Um, and I was like, "Ooh, boy, you don't know what's about to happen to your cyborg oh. ass." Yamcha, before they, before Tien walks out, Yamcha and Tien, you know, they're all wishing each other luck. Yamcha like grabs Tien's hand and they both have like a weird serious bro look. What was that about? Did not ha- I What happened between them in those 3 years? Mhm. Did they become like friends? I mean, they they became pretty close friends. Yeah. Soon after. So they I don't know like but, uh, maybe To me, I feel like here's how I interpret it. Uh, and it's all up for interpretation. I think it's Yamcha's like, hey, man, if we if we could read their minds, if we could shout to their minds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why we couldn't hear it, because Chiaotzu was to there. interpret. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, uh, I think it was, don't you go losing. I still need a rematch. And Tien's like, you're on. And don't worry. Mm. I got this. Trust our friendship. <laughs> Ice cream after. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. And the fudge sprinkles are on me because I'm a messy eater. (laughs) Also, I'll pay for them because they're extra. Because they're extra. Yeah, I think it's just, hey, what else are the, what else do these boys say to each other? Well, I, I, except don't lose so I can fight you. I thought maybe Yamcha is a little bit more clued into how strong Tien is. And maybe it's like, hey, don't go overboard because it's Tao. You know, oh, or take it seriously. Don't yeah, underestimate, or, or maybe he's saying that. I don't know. Yamcha again. You're confusing everybody with this move. What do you think Yamcha and Tien were psychically telling each other? Write in and let us know. Yes, if you have any ideas of what they were saying, write in comedyhousepartypod at gmail dot com or hit oh, us no, up. No, maybe we'll act it out. Yeah. Oh, if you write a script, ooh, ooh. Bud. If you write a script, we'll act that script out. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But this is this is it, it. It's it's time for the tournament. Everything goes widescreen. Well, yeah. How'd you feel about the widescreen? Oh, I fucking loved it. I, I, I would have kept it the whole time. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's about to be, it's about to be. You a fight. know, it's serious. You know, it's serious when it goes widescreen blue. Oh, but that was that was fresh. I was like, this is fresh. Next episode, it's Tao Pai Pai Tien. Crane versus Crane. Mm-hmm. Who's mm-hmm. gonna get endumbed? <laughs> Endum. <laughs> who's gonna get endum? Yeah. Do you think we'll see two matches next episode? I. All right. So let's just do the math, right? I know. Again, not research. I just know <clears throat> that one fifty five, one fifty six is the final one, right? They're going to make this tournament last 20 epis, right? They oh, have to. Oh, right, right. Maybe right. a denouement at the end, so we're looking at 19 ish. So. Yeah. I think it, they have to. And we have eight. I mean, I could feasibly see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's technically seven matches, correct? If you're doing top eight? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven. I mean, we could feasibly see two, two and a half episodes per match, which would not be bad. No, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. 
That's not too long, but it's just long <laughs> enough where you can get a lot of. And there's a lot of thick drama. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have within, to unpack within these matches. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. gonna be some flashbacks. Uh-huh. I think we're gonna see Tao Pai Pai blow up twice next episode. That would be nice. I want to see some stretchy arms. Is all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I got to see some stretchy arms. Tien's got to grow a bunch of arms again. Hopefully. Yes, the four witches technique. If he does, like, if he doesn't, what's the point? What if he has? What if he does the five witches? Oh technique? man, there's just what's well, like a little one. It's a yeah, it's a tiny one out of his calf. <laughs> you'll never I'm here too. You'll never see it coming, Tao. Mm-hmm. Yep, Persona Five. <laughs> Vince, we got some, uh, again, we got, we're getting, ooh, that mailbag is getting big, but we'll do a little bit mm-hmm. this week. Chip away at it. Former intern, now CEO, now our boss, Josh. Uh, subject line, you're cut. Hey, your boss here. Yeah, we know. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Thanks for the ideas y'all gave. Joe and Anthony, <gasps> ooh, he knows the Russos by their first name. Oh, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> Joe and Anthony thought your plot was stupid. It what? wouldn't work. But what do they know? I trust you guys and we are going with that. Yes. Yes. Again, the executives making the always making correct decisions <laughs> about entertainment. <laughs> he he continues to write. Y'all should fe- he continues to write. Y'all should feel great that the future of the MCU, Star Wars, and Dragon Ball franchises rest with y'all. Anyways, I've already sent it to pre-production. We should be pumping these out over the next decade. Y'all, s- y'all should have a good cut of this, so I'm giving y'all 3% royalties, starting with Guardians 3. You also have your names all over the credits to be center stage at the premieres of the guys who made these franchises. Go in this direction, Grant's. Congrats, guys, and I hope it doesn't bomb. Well, how could it? How Come could on. it? Hmm. Anyway, look, keep look fighting us. in a marvelous saying galaxy far, far away. Your boss and Disney CEO, former intern Josh. Yes! Yes! Oh, Ooh. I got to get a tux. I got to blow. I, man, I got to blow a bunch of money. Yeah, we got air. We got, for all this. we got some spending to do. Oh, we got publicists to hire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The mass... I just want that Time Magazine cover that just says the masterminds and it's us back to back. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Back to back. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And like, and also cover to cover because our pictures are on the back cover too. Yeah. Our pictures on the front cover and the back cover. We're wearing two different, like, opposite color wheel suits because we're different, but we we clash in a way that it's poetic mm-hmm. and beautiful and artistic. It is, it is complimentary. And I'm going to buy. Something I've always wanted to buy, Aaron. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy the International Space Shuttle. Imagine rolling up to that in the premiere. I'm telling you, it's an investment, son. They're going to be like, oh, these the- guys are out of this world when we pull up in that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many experiments we can do. <laughs> so many. There is a, there's a little PS here that I, from, from, from the boss as well. And he says, oh, and one more thing. His name, referencing our... Uh, three villain amalgam from last time mm-hmm. would be Latronus. And I'm like, yep. Hey. Lotronus. Yeah. I think we can give him a writer's credit. I think he'll love that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's give our boss. <laughs> Let's ask him if he's okay with that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll ask him if he's okay, but like we'll put it somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that like there's a there's an intern that walks in. It's working for Happy and his name is Josh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that's how we'll put it in. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm. I mean, I do feel a little bad that we got the Russos fired, but eh, man, they're look, they're good. They did their thing. They did their thing. They had their run. Now it's yeah. our turn, Aaron. Our time. I'm reclaiming our time. <laughs> We're playing the flute. We're playing the flute, and everybody knows it. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. I said, fellas. Yeah. If you want to write to us, you can do so by writing to kamehousepartypod at gmail.com. You can visit our website, kamehouseparty.com. Uh, for reasons, there's clips on there. Mm-hmm. There's subscribe. You can also, uh, you can send other people there if they're interested about the pod. When you yeah. Share, sh- you know, look, if you... Let people know if they want to get on the ground floor of phase, I guess it'd be four now. 
mm-hmm. of the MCU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, send them here. Send them to us. There's space for podcasts in this news in this new phase. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, no, it's all it, we're not doing films. We're doing podcasts. We're doing only. podcasts. <laughs> yeah, and it's free. It's we're, 100% I mean, we're, free. Same budget. Same budget. But we are giving them away for free with zero ad revenue. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. We don't want to look. We know how we got into this industry. We're going to keep yeah. it that way for the True fans. True to our roots. For the fans. <laughs> <laughs> also, follow us um, on Instagram, Twitter. You guys know where to find us. Follow us on PlayStation Network if you're if you're playing video games and and doing that fun stuff. If you're not, you know. Check it, check out all the other stuff that we we have a lot of fun doing. Uh, I do a lot of improv in the city of uh, New York, so check out that stuff. I got it's it's all summer long, baby, summer jams. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no matter who you're trying to get to in the finals or who's up against you in the first round of the Tenkaiji tournament, you gotta keep.